Hi, Tom here. Welcome to Alley Picked. A couple years ago, on the way back home from a fishing trip in Canada, I stopped at this gift shop in International Falls, Minnesota. I saw this really cool bench. It was in the shape of a fish. So it inspired me. When I came home, I took a couple of scrap 1x12s and then I glued them together and I cut out this fish. Now I never got much farther than this. It sat around, like I say, for a couple years. But I thought we would finish the project, make a little video out of it, and show you how you can make your own bench in the shape of a fish. Stay tuned. So I searched Google Images and found this. And with a few minor modifications to the fin area, I think it'll be perfect. Now if you haven't used the Bosch, I like it very well. It uses these T-bits and they snap right in. Ready to go. Now using a rounded router bit, we're going to use that to give our fish a nice rounded edge. So we're going to now paint our fish. What I wanted to do is keep some of the, the beauty of the grain shining through, but yet the color of a trout. So what we're going to do is apply not so much as a paint, but a wash. And what I'm going to do with that, I'm going to use some white, might need some black. I got several greens and some water to thin out our paint. I found this picture online and I kind of liked it so I'm going to use this as a sample for my base. So out of a piece of cardboard I cut the general shape. I'm also going to cut a hole in here for a piece of wood that will then join together 
two pieces just like this. So you can see that the router bit left the edges round and we cut square edges. So we have two options. One, we can take a chisel and chisel that out or we could round these edges. Now if we round these edges, it's much quicker. So now with our legs temporarily in place and they're squared, we're going to take a measurement in between. So 20 and 1 8. And then we're going to use this scrap piece of wood. We will cut it and we'll notch both ends so it fits through the holes that we made. So I measured the inside and we're going to cut along here. So that'll leave us with our notch. So there you have it, your basic fish bench. 
and you too can make cool stuff from junk. This was made from scrap wood in my garage, cost me zero cents. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching Alley Picked. See you next time.